One for the record. Look, that's the biggest one of the day. He has no clue that you're going to be here today. Oh, really? <laughs> Mike Nadeau, how that's you me. doing? Good, good, good to see you, brother. Step see right you. here. What's your name? Craig Steps. Craig. David. Hey, David. Hey, I'm headed down to Kingfisher Society, a place I've fished several times. Last year, we went down and fished with some of our military guys and it was so incredibly cold, windy, and rained, ice cold rain. It was just really tough conditions. This year we're hoping for better conditions and I'm gonna be fishing with some great special forces guys. This is an exciting fishing trip for me and I hope it will be for you, so stay tuned. It's gonna be great, I promise. I'm Hank Barton. Where you been this morning? What do you think? Why don't you take a break from that? <laughs> you pretty? Hey! Mike said for you to get out of his hole. <laughs> Is that your first cast? That was, yes, the first cast. I notice you don't like to share. <laughs> you need a new best friend, and you're not sharing. You're kind of stealing the show. I'm going to let you know now. I edit. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty bad. It was really bad. Well, I tell you, we had terrible weather last year. It, it was cold and the water temperature was cold and cold rain, cold wind. Boy, we couldn't get the fish to buy. Well, man, it's different today. <laughs> we have got great weather. Fish are aggressive. Things are really, really good. Let's see if we can't double it. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Mike? <laughs> Can I work? I don't believe we can just kick <laughs> one, do you? <laughs> I believe it's a double enough. Oh, golly. Uh-oh, we broke the ice. <laughs> Come on. That's a good one, man. Look at here. I'm supposed to be guiding you. Here you are guiding me. I like that. You broke that one off in the hood. I saw that. You're a little wild there. You got a little wild on me. You tie a Palomar? Yes, sir. Oh, that's perfect. These are beautiful fish. This river has so much flow to it that they couldn't fertilize it enough to grow fish as big without using some type of artificial feeding. So that's why you see all these feeders because they couldn't get enough nutrients in the water and enough bait fish to grow fish to five and six pounds, seven, eight, nine pounds like they wanted. So, they use a breed of fish that will eat fish food and pellets, which makes them a little bit more difficult to catch sometimes. Although we haven't had a whole lot of trouble this morning, and while I was trying to tell my story, I was rudely interrupted <laughs> by another one that was rude bad. Uh, that's a pretty big one there. <laughs> oh, football. Hello, brother. This fish, we were talking, and he rudely interrupted us right in the middle of our conversation. <laughs> have no respect. A bass, <laughs> I've noticed that. Bass have very re little regard for our military. <laughs> you know? I mean, right here we are in a very patriotic mode, and what does he do right in the middle of our conversation? 
I think we can forgive them. I think I will this time, but I don't let it happen. The very first thing that I want to do, I don't know if you call it company, I don't know if you call it group. These guys are so special, and of course, they're special forces, and they are family, and they've lost some soldiers, and it's always really, really hard. Real Men Fishing Team have dedicated a lure to a fallen soldier. This lure is named after Brandon F. Eggleston. He was born February the 12th, 1983, and died April 2012. And I want to dedicate a portion of this show to him. And then we've got Lieutenant Christopher E. Mosco, 83 when he was born. He died April 2012. And they named a lure for him, and the proceeds go to his family. And then I want to dedicate this show also to Sergeant Dick Alston Lee, who died April 2012. These guys are part of the guys that I'm fishing with today, and I want to dedicate this show. I've got their lures and their memory. We'll give you a little more information on the screen how you can buy some of these lures, and they're great lures, by the way, and the proceeds will go to their family. So we dedicate this show to these three guys today. There you go, Knox. Showing off again. <laughs> you like it. Double up. Check that out. Find some more this time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Every time. Hey, don't go away. We got more coming up from Kingfisher Society. Somebody's over showing off again. Showing off again. Me. That one doesn't count. <laughs> oh, we're, we're counting. <laughs> Look here, if you catch more than I do, we'll show that over and over again. <laughs> Every hook said it'll be you. <laughs> Hank's show is brought to you in part by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Now it's time for Hank's tip of the day. I have had so many people contact me and say, why do you need two talons? Why not just one? And I have got a remote and I have them both set up together. And so you just push this little remote and both of them go down. And if you watch that, that actually lifted my boat up here in the driveway. It's incredible how strong these are. They go down to 12 foot, by the way, which is remarkable. But the reason for two is you're out there and you anchor one, your boat's gonna pivot because you only have one anchor point. When you anchor two, you're like on a dock. It'll hold your boat in position, doesn't shift. So your front end's not going round and round like it would if you only had one. So two is so much more stable. Yes, you can get by with one and one is better than none. And when I first got these, I honestly thought I would remove them except in the spring of the year when I was sight fishing and fishing shallow water. Boy, was I ever wrong. And now that they go down to 12 foot, it's remarkable how much I use them. I use them on ledges in the summertime when I'm up on the high spot. I just use them all the time. They're incredible. And to be able to sync them together, I just push one button, they both go up, push one button, they both come down. It is just an amazing technology that will help you catch fish in two 
stabilizes your boat. That's why I have two. It's a lot better than last year. A lot better than last year. <laughs> you know, our objective is to have the opportunity for me, maybe not so much for them, but for me to get to fish with all four of the guys that are there. Give each one of you a Hank Parker hat. Who's fishing with me this afternoon? So we fish like half days each and we rotate. This is the IM6 graphite rod. It is an awesome rod and reel combo. It's made by Luz and it's called the American Hero Series. Here, let me show you. Watch this right here. You don't load it up, you just hold it in your hand. You don't do anything, but you just flick your wrist like that. And what they do is they escrow a portion of every rod and reel sold. They take that money and buy more rods and reels and give them to the military. They give them to veterans. You get better, <laughs> it just takes a little bit of time. So on behalf of Luz, I'd like to present each one of you with a rod and reel combo. Let's to the overhand. As soon as the fish sit, they come out with their fins up, so all you have to do is have a dip net. <laughs> I have fished with four guys in the boat at one time, and I'm gonna tell you, the Queen Mary is not big enough for four fishermen. What happened there? You gotta wear a helmet, a crash helmet, a face mask, eye protection, all kind of stuff. So we decided we would just say, hey, I'll take one guy. Your turn, David. Or he'll have me for half a day and we'll rotate. So I got to fish with all four guys, which was cool. Hmm. A little bigger one here now. I think we got a hold of a pretty good one. I'm just gonna sit back there with you for a minute. Oh, that's a good one. Your turn, David. I'm working it. <laughs> what is it going to take, David? Grenade. You knocked your skirt sideways. Yeah, you know, that's the trouble with not understanding how to wear a skirt. That's all right. It's like a helicopter pilot with a foot control. You never know which way he's going to That's bend. exactly the way it is. You should have a seatbelt or something in here. I don't know. Everybody row. Man, if you were one of the other guys here, I'd have pushed you over by now. <laughs> How about that? That is a very heavy fish. He's thick. See you, buddy. Wow. Got him. Do it. Ooh, that's a good one. Swing him right here. I got him swinging. Perfect. Good job. Now hold that up to the camera and tell them how you did it and how all your years of expertise has paid off and all your training. Go. Fishing with Hank Parker. No. <laughs> I have no idea how I caught it. Payback. <laughs> Me and I outsmarted him. I knew when I threw in there was a perfect cast. Am I supposed to say all that? Oh, yeah. This portion of Hank's show is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Yeti coolers, built for the wild. Come on, David! <laughs> Woo! What a good one. Woo! Man, if I open my eyes... Well, I tell you, these fish at Kingfisher what a job. are yeah, different right. than any fish you'll ever fish for because they're acclimated to pellets. And the reason they do that One for the is because this water turns <laughs> over so fast out of this river that there's no way that they can fertilize and build the nutrients to grow the fish. Tried for years and years and years and just couldn't get fish to weigh five or six or seven or eight or nine pounds like they wanted. So the only way they could do that is get fish that are acclimated to eating fish food and they feed them. So they hang around all these feeders. But that doesn't necessarily make it easy. It can make it more difficult. They like this thing. Dallas? Yes, sir. I thought about it yesterday. We caught so many fish on a jig. I think this morning this is going to be the better bait. This is a pit ball. So your presentation is really, really critical to catching these fish. And I'm going to tell you, uh, the way we position the boat and drop those talons made a world of difference in catching fish. And it's the right little presentation. So you kind of got to figure that out. Oh, I see who's got the biggest one. Now hold it right there. Yeah, you go. Grab that line. I'm going to show you something. 
pull him over. Three I'm years I've been down there okay. when chigger crawl was the bait okay. of choice. Yeah. And we caught him on jigs, we caught him on a variety of bait. But when it was all yeah. said and done, at the end of the day, a chigger yeah. crawl, and my favorite bait was a pit ball. So I would say on this trip, we used more pit balls than we did anything else. I love that bait. This bait has got so much more action than any bait. It's almost the only bait I flip with anymore. And I love a chigger crawl, and I'm fishing a chigger crawl where you're fishing a pit boss. See that little pin on that hook? Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? And then this thing's got a little channel for your hook to go in. That flick. Oh, wow. You don't have to resink so, it. Yeah, it don't take so much effort. So you hadn't fished in two years, Dal? It's been a little too long. Yes, sir, it's been about two years. I needed this. That's a good thing, get your priorities back right. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, do it, boy. Get out of there. What do you think? That's what you had. This real flow is the key. Got him? Yeah. Come on, a double. That's what I want this morning. I'll take it easy on his mouth next time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Throw it out there and whine to me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! It's your hide it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the biggest one yet, I think. This is bordering on ridiculous. I mean, we're talking every single cast. I need to move. Every cast for two solid hours. That's, that's the biggest fish of the day. Hold it, go easy. I enjoyed it. We're friends for life. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest fish of the day. I'll send you this picture when we get back in. All right, hold him out like Roland Martin would. <laughs> All right. What? Kevin. You're gonna have to quit. I don't care if you're KVD. I'm not impressed. Look, Craig don't have time to answer all your questions. All right, Van Dam. I can't, I can't give him my secret. He's busy. Hank's show is made possible in part by Lou's. Feel the difference. Looking for more bass fishing tips and techniques from legendary angler Hank Parker? Go to hankparker.com. You'll have full access to all things Hank including articles, videos, sponsor news, tips, television schedules, and much more. Get a bite, you get it. You got it. Do it! Woo-hoo! Why couldn't Mark see that one? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's a good one, too, boy. Get in here, guy. Oh! Man, look at this. Craig just got on board. We're rotating soldiers this morning. Craig just got on board. Is that your first cast? That was, yes, the first cast. First cast, <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> well, I tell you, Kingfisher, they feed you well. Every year, it's fantastic food. It's great fellowship, and I'm gonna tell you, the guys this year, they really did me a great service, and Maria, this is really, really special. And it says, this flag was flown over Baghdad, Iraq, September the 11th, 2014. So on September 11th, the anniversary of the Twin Towers and the attack that was on America, these Special Forces guys flew this over Baghdad and presented it to me. Is that awesome? It is definitely awesome. They also signed for me a Special Forces football. It has their real names. A lot of times the names we use are really not their real names. They, they do a lot of covert operations and it's, uh, it gives me great comfort when I fish with these guys and I know who they are to know they're protecting my freedom. They're awesome. We have just finished fishing with four special service guys. Craig is the fisherman and you're my last guy so we're gonna wrap it up with you and I, I just want to tell you we talk about it all the time but the deep appreciation I personally have for you guys that have fought for our freedom to give me the privilege to do what I do I can't thank you enough man it's awesome we appreciate it too and it's people like you that make me want to go out and do my job even more man I can't tell you Woo.
Ooh, man, what a trip. We had great weather this time. I might have to give a shout out to Minn Kota. I've been using their troll motors for 100 years and how awesome they are, but the hero this time was the talent. Man, alive, they made a gigantic difference and really helped us out. You know, this event is so cool. To be able to fish with special service guys, it is just such a thrill for me. And I'd like to thank uh, Bert Wilmer and Laura, his wife. They put that event on every year as an appreciation to the soldiers. Kingfisher is an awesome place to fish. But I hope you enjoyed the show today. It was a hoot for me. And God bless you. I'll see you next week. I'm Hank Parker. And don't forget to visit us at hankparker.com, the place for tips, giveaways, and more. The house needs painting, the grass needs mowing, where's he at? Gone fishing.